EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Sheboygan, Wisconsin, it's live final round coverage of the season opening event, the Wisconsin Open. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, a lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. Time to get out to the action on the course as we pick things up on the tee at the par 4 14th. In contention deep into their first ever professional event. I'm bringing in Nota Begay the third. You've been there. Nota, what does that tell you? This kind of success this quickly. Well, being in contention early builds one thing, and it's one key thing in all of sports, and it's specifically in golf, and that's confidence. You take a little bit of confidence early in your career, and you can ride it a long way. In this particular case, that confidence is carrying them deep into the event. A very makeable eight-footer for Birdie. Just skirts the outside edge. That's a tough break. I said very makeable. Apparently, it's very missable, too. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And he'll stay at 700. Ready to go here at the 15th tee. And by the looks of it, Frank, we should have brought the swimsuits and some sunscreen. It's very picturesque, that's for sure. But don't get fooled by its beauty. This is an absolute beast at 503 yards and sets up a very, very tough finish to whistling straights. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there to get another wonderful tee shot. Frank, this will be from 200 yards, second shot. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, Wondering what might have been. Yeah, good putt. That's in for far here at 15. And he'll stay right where he is. When you're licking your chops here at the 16th, it's only 568 yards this par 5. Clearly reachable in two. But you can also let this hole get away from you because of all those dunes and bunkers that can become a real headache if you're off target. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. That is not the spot to be. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot.
Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Here we are at the 249 yard 17th. What a hole. One of the most intimidating peep dive par three anywhere in the world. Most players will play it safe to the right side of the green because the left, it has that 20 foot drop down to the sand dunes and Lake Michigan beyond. Now from the bunker, you know, just a little splash out on this path, right? Mm, maybe a little frustration there. Got a little too much sand and not enough golf ball, and that will come up quite a bit short. Well done, though it is for Bogey here at the par three. He's going to fall to six under par. We come now to one of the most celebrated finishing holes in all of golf. Whistling Straits, 520 yard par 480. An aggressive drive down the left side requiring a 270 yard carry over the sand dunes and bunkers. Safer to play it to the right. This one turning left a bit off the tee. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Frank, one last full swing. What are they looking at here at 18? Well, even with a good tee shot, you're left with a long yardage in. So chances are you're hitting a long iron all the way across Seven Mile Creek, which wraps around the front and the left side. So this is going to take your best second shot. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway and the approach winds up in the bunker. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the 18th green. And that will go down as a final round, 69. Frank, that was quite a test at Whistling Straits. Well, 7,800 yards is one of the longest courses you can play. But uh, this golf course extracts every single ounce of game out of you. Frank, it certainly was a challenge. For my partner, Frank Nabilo, and all of us here at EA Sports, we say so long for now from Wisconsin.
EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, live opening round coverage of the Desert Championship. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking for another strong showing after a top 10 finish a week ago. This starting toward the right side. Oh, that needed a kick, but that will end up in the short grass here to start things out. Bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, the old saying, everybody loves a winner, but in golf, it's not that simple. Top tens add up. Top tens are important because the top 25 at the end of this Corn Ferry Tour season move on, earn their privileges to play on the PGA Tour. So what's uh, your assessment of what you saw in that opening week? Well, that's the wonderful and intriguing thing about the game of golf, and in particular golf on the Corn Ferry Tour, is that in most cases you're judged on the body of work over the course of the year. Can you sustain a certain level of play consistently, accrue points, and keep yourself in that top 25 at the year end? And a top 10 in the first event of the year is a great way to get that going. And Nota, not only first event of the year, but first event as a professional. That was really well done. Fifteen feet away. Yeah, not quite enough pace, but that's pretty good. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. Here at the par four, 445 yard, second hole. Severe dog leg to the left. What's the best play here, Frank? Well, that tee shot, Rich, is so intimidating. So you don't necessarily have to hit driver. Um, club decision uh, is probably going to be important here because if you hit driver, you've got to take it down over that left side all over the canyon area. So if you hit three wood, you can play a slightly more conservative tee shot, but it is going to leave you a longer second shot to a green that's well protected on the right side by bunkers. But uh, really, you know, if the wind's not blowing, this is a really good, uh, fun hole to play. Look at the vistas. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. A 110 to the hole. The pin is stuck in the front right section of the green. Sandwich takes flight, and I don't think it's going to carry. Mm, not sure what happened there. Wrong club selection or execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. Mm. 
Nope. Okay, he hits a bogey here at the second. And he'll drop back to one over par. Frank, 227 yards from the back tee here at the par 3 third. This is all you want. Oh, that's for sure. Plays a little longer than that, too, by virtue of playing uphill. Thin air might negate some of that. Uh, There's going to be a good shot just to keep the ball on the green. One of the smaller greens here. And the uphill shot there, difficult to judge, and that will wind up short. Well, not quite enough on that one, Frank. Yeah, coming out of the rough, uh, not surprising, but considerably short. And that one in for a bogey here at the third. And that's going to move him back to two over par. This is a good hole here at Wolf Creek. The fourth par four at 383 yards with a pretty severe dog leg to the right. 383 yard fourth hole. Certainly not long, Frank, but there's plenty of trouble out there. Yeah, this is very much a positional hole. This is not sort of tee it up with a driver and just uh, rip it down. There. Just find the fairway. You're going to have virtually just a short wedge, you know, nine on really at the most into this green. And uh, really, this is a good chance for a birdie. So two good shots and you shouldn't be too far away. A good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. That is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Oh no, where was that going? That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And he'll slide back now to three over par. We come now to one of Wolf Creek's signature holes, the 490-yard R5 fifth, another elevated tee. The key here is to clear the desert and creek off the tee and find the fairway. From there, reaching the green in two is definitely a possibility. This one moving just a little bit to the right with that wind. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Okay, I'll be pretty happy with that one on the green and two, but a long ways. Frank, he'll need to refocus immediately because that's not a guarantee. 
two putts from that distance. Exactly, Rich. No time to celebrate right now. Grind on that first putt. Get it inside that magic circle. At least try and guarantee a birdie. Boy, that's not even going to get in the right area code of this hole. Way, way short. This one's going to need to carry some pace with it. A long one for birdie. Back up the slope. Never quite had enough oomph on that. Yeah, sort of uh, a wishy-washy.